Omar Sinisa Ben Lakahal is a freelance journalist specializing in the Western Sahara region. He joins us now from Monaco. Thank you very much for uh, being with us. Now, this is known as Africa's longest uh, dispute. However, there could be a possible breakthrough with Morocco offering to recognize the region uh, as being autonomous. The question is, will this be enough for the people of Western Sahara? Um, from what I've seen, the people from Western Sahara will not accept this. They, they only want their full territory back. That's the, that's the thing. They didn't manage to, ma to make the transition actually back in 91, 1991, after the ceasefire was brokered. What because is... Due to like... D sorry, sorry, to continue. A point. Yeah, they didn't manage, actually the UN didn't manage to do the referendum on, of self-determination mm -hmm. due to um, a key point, which is the identification process, saying who will vote, actually, in the occupied territories. Mm. Now, what is, just explain to us, what is Alger's, uh, Algeria's role uh, in this particular dispute? We know that they support the Polisario Front. We know the Polisario Front want an independent state. Do you think Algeria will be pushing the Polisario Front to accept the autonomous, uh, the autonomy offer? Um, from what I know, I don't know, I'm not sure Algeria will try to push the Polisario Front, actually, because considering it as being uh, uh, an autonomous a country actually with authorities, with ministries and president. So they, it's up to them to take the decision actually. Algeria will only support their decision and the UN's decision. This is the, uh, Algeria's position. So thank you very much for uh, joining us on the show. Masinisa Ben Lakaihal, the freelance journalist specializing in the Western Sahara District.